especially for the newcomers, it was the easiest way for them to show their appreciation for the country that opened this door for them. In Syrian culture, it can be symbolic and one of the highest forms of loyalty. That's why Syrian Canadians here are giving back by rolling up their sleeves during a time when Canadian Blood Services says there's a risk of shortages. It's been almost two years since the Calgary Immigrant Support Society began these blood drives. And while the response has been tremendous, organizers say they're working with Canadian Blood Services to accommodate a lot more community members who want to give back but are not able to. It's very, very uh, uh, challenging for them because you have to speak completely full on your own in order to do the interview and answer the questions. And we are not allowed to bring our own interpreters. So that really put a lot of uh, restrictions. So from every 100, probably we're down to only five who can donate. 25 people gave blood today, many of them newcomers responding to a call for donations during the holiday season. A lot of car accident happened here. A lot of uh, guys need uh, blood uh, in this time of year, so I come here to help my brothers and sisters. Uh, I think it's a, it's a good way to show uh, our love to Canada. It's a great job, in my opinion. It's perfect, and uh, I wish really Merry Christmas for all. The organization says statutory holidays this month will impact the supply of platelets, an important blood component with a seven-day shelf life that's commonly used to treat cancer patients. This group will be back New Year's Day with new donors and in April for Syrian Canadian Donation Day. It says the events helped bring attention to the need for minorities to give blood. And the Syrian community donated, now the Filipino community want to donate and that kind of stuff. As I said, it's a healthy competition and it's really uh, needed because in the end we want the, we all I think have a desire to do something good. Canadian Blood Services is encouraging more than 30,000 donors across the country to book and keep their appointments up until January 6. In Calgary, Crystal Ladaris, City News.